What's up, everybody? A spirit with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Um, when we left off, we had created the Space Worm, which is our new drilling machine. Oh, I just realized. I was like, I thought everything was all hunky dory. And I just realized that I'm missing a whole nother row of uh, thrusters down here. That's not good. Um, and it looks like the Azimuth mod has updated a little bit. As you'll notice, the model is a little different here. Um, let's go ahead and put this in. I may not have enough components. I didn't know I had this many. But you see how this looks different than this? Like, it's weird. And then, as it welds, it turns into a different structure. So that's kind of funky. Um, and they're also... All of these thrusters are requiring superchargers now, which weren't required before. Don't really know what that's about, but we're going to fix that. Oh, and the, uh, the game updated, and it looks like they fixed the lighting glitch, so you can now see uh, the lighting. To confirm that, let's go in to our lights. Turn them all on. And voila! Okay. So... That's that. Um, you know what? Eventually what I want to do is put these all on buttons, the lights, so that, like, when I'm not doing anything that has to do with the station, I can turn them off, and it will help my frame rate a bit. Kind of thing. And when I am, then I can turn them on. Uh, production superchargers. This is an iron ingot, gold, and platinum. So I need three. And we'll cancel that out. I guess I should probably turn on the reactor, huh? Might help. You know, we we all know how uh, how well I do with making sure that components are turned on. You know, and I did find out that the um, the bumble. It has, like, 400-some bulletproof glass that I didn't know was in here. Which is kind of what we need to finish off this stuff. So now that's completed. And then that's 100 and so... I think I might have enough glass to finish those. I'm not sure, though. We still need to work on the reactor. Okay, did I? I didn't grab them. Dang, damn it. <laughs> oh, I was going to put the glass in there so I wouldn't have to worry about it. I remember now. Okay. Uh, where did you guys go? There you are. Um. Oh. Crap. Okay, assembler. Use conveyor system. Wait, what? Really? Why won't that work? That's odd. I don't know why that's not working. It's connected to everything else. It won't even let me move the thrusters. Or anything. What the heck? Uh, I'm looking for something on construction. Why won't it go? Oh! Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make a group for this, actually. So I don't have to scroll all the way down. Because that's just too much work for me. Yeah, yeah. That happened. <laughs> totally was like, why can't I do that? So now I can just turn off the reactor. I need to set, like, buttons for everything. Like, have a button panel down here. How much are button panels to build, anyway? Uh, control panel's not what I'm looking for. I need, like, a button. I know they're in here. It just all... Oh, wait. How about this? There we go. Ooh! Button pedestal. That's only for small ships. Here we go. That'll work. I don't know what the difference between... That must be a modded panel. Okay, so I need 8, 8, and 4. 
Okay. Um. Bu -bu -bu -bum. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Eight eight. What were the other ones? It was computer components, wasn't it? Okay. Oops. Wait. Whoa, you are all screwed up. There we go. So this way... Um, groups. Main reactor. There we go. Toggle block on and off. Why are you, why are you no work? Toggle block. Yes, on and off. What about the block itself? Would that make a difference? Wait, why is it not listed here? Oh, there it is. Large reactor. Oh, are you kidding me at the irony of this right now? <laughs> I may have just done something really dumb. The block has to be on to turn on the power. That's funny. That is really funny, actually. Okay, um... I'm going to put this one... Like here, I think. And this is going to be for the lights. So we should be able... Okay, I can't do the reactor lights, but I can do these. So we can turn the lights on, and we can turn them off. Sweet. Sweetness. Okay, so I've got my components now, so we're going to go ahead and fix the driller. Well, stop, dude. Um, we're going to fix the space worm here. And then I want to test out... Um... I want to test out the tube connector thing for ex uh, for dumping the components from uh, from this. Oh, and I'm gonna go through and you need thruster. Co oh, that one. Okay, it's this one that already had that and needed the supercharger. Gonna add these back to the group as well so that they are part of the thruster group. Um, give me one of these. Actually, I probably should um, dump everything from the bumble in there as well. You know what, I really need to make a station storage room is what I should be doing. Because I don't actually have like a legitimate station storage. Okay, um... Thrusters. Big thruster. Sloped and sloped. And then there should be another small. Save that out. Okay. Let's turn thrusters on. Um, I'll turn the lights off for... Well... Yeah, we'll leave the light on for now, I guess. Recharge off. Undock. Oh, I hate it when it does this. Let go. Like... That could have gone really badly. Okay, we have to watch out for the forward thrust, because the forward thrust is very potent. Oh, wait a minute. That's part of the problem. There we go. The couple of the thrusters were, like, weird. Okay. Now let's go over a bit. Line 
this up now. We'll go to our handy dandy camera view. Ooh. Have to mind the controls though. Alright, now. What I need to do is line this up. And I don't know if the landing gear in proximity thing will go off or not. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I made another stupid mistake. Because... I, wait, that looks way too small of a connector. That doesn't look right. Alright. Um, we're going to leave that off for now. While I go check this out. I've got to turn on the, um, the ship, basically. It's not on, so the connector is not on. But I don't really know how this is going to work. Okay, there's the connectors on. So... Now, nope. Oh, turn the reactor or the batteries back on. Can the, okay, it's connecting. Now, inventory, tiny drill. Do I have access to? I do. Um, what happens? The drills are already set to use convent conveyor system. Oh, I need the connector. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. It'll be... There it is. Connector small. Throw out. Collect all. Right? Now I should be dumping stuff. Maybe. Am I not dumping stuff? Numbers aren't moving. That's not... That's not good. Hmm. Hmm. Are these set up? There is no use conveyor system for them. Alright, let's check. Maybe turn that off. Toggle lock. Did lock it, right? Yeah, I locked it. Okay. So let's try and manually do it. Maybe... Maybe it's not working correctly in terms of being able to dump. Oh, you can only do the throw out thing. Wait a minute, where did that go? You can only do the throw out thing if it's um a collector, I think. Oh. Wait a minute, don't I have a I do have a collector. Okay, I did this wrong. <laughs> Way to go me. Okay, let's turn this way so we're like more properly aligned. Yeah, I totally just screwed that up. I went and was dumping into the connector. I need to put it. Whoop, wrong way. I need to put it over the um, collector. Uh, first, we gotta make sure this will fit over here and not run into the asteroid. that would not end well. Um, I think that's close enough. Can I put... Woo! Alright. Just don't turn at all. As I turn. That's like the first thing I did was turn after I said don't turn at all. Okay, now I do actually want to set up a, a thing for this. So that it's a little easier to do. Um, toggle block on, off. Throw out. And collect all. Okay, that's what I wanted. So now, two, one. And... Eureka! We have dumpage. And we can turn the lights off to conserve power. 
And so yeah, that's that's a pretty cool way of doing things. That as this driller or the space worm thing worked really well, and then I could just fly over here and drop stuff, which is pretty awesome. Um, okay, I'm gonna leave that to do its th actually. Let me let me in. Um, I'm gonna turn off the thrusters. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna leave that to do its thing. And let's see about this glass here. So 146 per trip. And I think there was like 160 or 180 in each panel. I don't know. I may not have enough glass to do this. Why can I not? Oh, I can't care anymore. Gosh, sometimes I can be very smart, and then other times I'm just as dumb as a doorknob. <laughs> it just... I, it just happens sometimes. I don't know, I think I told... I think I mentioned this already, but they did fix the lighting glitch. Um... Yeah, I mentioned it. That's why I made the buttons. See? Dumb as a doorknob. I'm j it's just one of those days, apparently, where just everything goes right over my head. I forget what I'm working on, forget what I'm doing. Just whoop, and it's gone. Um, Alright. Let's see, if I've got another trip in this, I'm going to pause it. If this is the last one, then I'll just keep going. Is there any in the other... Great. I don't see any. Alright, so I'm going to pause it and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we kind of have a close but no cigar situation here right now. I have three more bulletproof glass. The, the problem is the bulletproof glass is like 15 silicone a pop. Or silicon, whatever. And you only get 0.2 out of computers, which I was trying to disassemble because it's what I had the most of. But it's so slow. So slow. So I borrowed some around from different things like that wouldn't... Um, hey, I wonder if I could get this. You don't have any bulletproof glass. Dang it. Um, like I, I tore up the cockpit over here because uh, it had 30. But I left... It. Oh, crap. Uh, crap. Ship Stop floating. Critical. Stop floating. Stop floating away. Stop it. Thank you. Wait, you're still floating. What are you doing? I swear I'll never understand this. Just stay there. Goodness. Derpy ship. I need to grind it down because it's kind of jacked up now. Whoa. Hole in the floor. Need to put a railing there. Um... So yeah, I got two of these done. Actually, I got three of them done. I just don't know if... Yeah. So, three of them are done. And this one is so close, it's not even funny. Um, actually, I'm not entirely sure if we need all of them or not. Or if we can just... get it up past the line to where it shows like it's completed and we can just complete it later. Yes, we can! Awesome! Awesome sauce. Okay. Now, I will say I like this look. The one thing I don't like is this. It tears where the textures don't connect right between the two. It's not a big deal at a glance. I mean, it still looks like it's in a force field box tesseract thing, uh, which is pretty cool. And as always, we'll probably end up using this um, oh no, I'm in the reactor! Uh, centrifuge to make more efficient uranium and all that. Um, now this booger is going to be a pain in the butt to make. Uh, I looked at the arc reactor components and holy crap ola at how much 
how many components we need to make that. I think it was something like, I didn't know it was 1600, I thought it was 2000, so I put in 2000 arc reactor components. It was something stupid, like 750,000 iron, and just, ugh, just stupid numbers. Um, I think... Alright, so here's, here's the next phase for me. Here's, here's what I'm thinking. I may not use the SNCN model, but I want to make a small ship that's a welder. This this kind of derped up on me, and it worked, but it was too bulky, as well as um, I tried to keep it too aesthetically aware, like, you know, I tried to make it look cool, and I think I'm done making things look cool for now. I want, I want fast and efficient. Uh, that's kind of what happened with this space worm thing. Like, it doesn't look the greatest. It looks like a giant tube with drills on the end of it, but it works really well. I can tunnel with it. It's charging. It has plenty of cargo room. You know, like, it's functional. I think that's what I'm going more toward, or leaning more towards in my builds at this point is not, um, is not aesthetically cool, but functionally useful. Um, so I have two projects in mind. I need a welding ship, because we already kind of have the, gr or the grinder thing going for us for now. I need a welding ship, though, to increase the speed of producing the station, a, a building. It'll increase how fast I can build the station, because we got to weld all these blocks together. It may actually improve performance, too, because I read on Reddit or the forum somewhere that these uncomplete blocks are actually harder for the game to process, which makes sense, so it, that could attribute to some of my frame rate issues here and there. Um, so I need to make a welding ship to complete that, and I also want to make a new interceptor, but my plan is on hold for now because um, Keen Software House, the developers of the game, released a patch this week for bug fixing, but they also implemented uh, custom modded weapons for ships now too. And when they did that, they sh <coughs> excuse me, they showed off a example mod that used a sniper rifle on a small ship. It's not the only problem is it's not survival ready. So I'm hoping that within the next little bit they'll end up making it survival ready and then I can put it on a small like I'm thinking a dinky little pod ship with a landing gear, six thrusters, a battery and a sniper rifle kind of thing like just really basic because if I can use a sniper rifle outside the range of the cargo ships we might be able to like pick off the uh, turret stuff and not actually have to have something super heavy armored to hijack turrets. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm not uber confident that it'll work exactly the way I'm intending it to, but it might. And if it does, you know, well, then we're, we're gold. Um, so I'll probably work on building a, a basic welding ship with a focus on cargo space so I can dump like all of my steel plates into it. That's what I really want. I want something that's small and compact, but something that I can just junk every possible steel plate in my arsenal up there in, in one ship so that I can go around and put them all into these uh, un unconstructed sections of the station and we can make it look a bit more completed, I guess, is what I'm going for. I, I'm kind of tired of looking at the wireframe. I want it to actually be like we're making progress here. So I think we're going to slow down a little bit and focus the next couple episodes on finishing the station. Or not finishing, but progressing. We've kind of ignored our poor little station over here. And I want it because, okay, here's the, here's the longevity. I want a storage unit here so I can stop using the Mark II. I want a storage unit and possibly an assembly refinery section down here. Um, so in order to do that, we need to finish this. So that's that's kind of that's my stepping stones. Is I need to build ships so that I can finish this, and then when this is finished, then I can work on a storage unit and yada yada. You you get where I'm going. Um, so we'll see how that goes and all that good stuff. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.